so we just arrived at the coal mines historical site it's actually a unesco world heritage site at its peak here in the 1840s there were 600 convicts working here so uh <laughs> so yeah yeah let's go have a look we're gonna start off checking out the main settlement so this is the first thing we're seeing as we're walking in not exactly sure what it is any ideas yeah, it's actually the bunk where all those 600 convicts in the <laughs> 1840s used to live. They just stacked them on top of each other. Every metre of this chain right here stands for five years in history, so as you follow it, you'll walk through two centuries. It also says here that the first European settlement in Tasmania was in 1803. demonstrate how big it is in there. I can stand up, that's good. This is a metre wide. I'm two metres tall. And maybe two and a half metres deep. This is perfect, this is my new home. Yeah, this is your bedroom now. <laughs> okay, night night. We should get a van that we can stand up in. I would live in this. It was a yeah. bit wider. Bit longer. So we're not actually sure what these tiny rooms are. We're thinking maybe it's where people slept. It says the offenders suffered floggings and solitary confinement in underground cells. Maybe this was the underground cells that they had to be confined in. So somebody 200 years ago was confined in here going crazy. I don't know if they were going crazy. They probably were. I'd go crazy, but it's pretty similar to a small van. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that people treat people like this. There were three huts here, and there was a convict hospital here above the confinement cells. It's really eerie to be here, actually. People probably died in those cells. I can't even fathom what it would have been like to be alive here as a convict 200 years ago. This is really cool. There's almost no people here. We've ran into two other groups, so it makes me really glad that we didn't go to Port Arthur. Yeah, it would be pumping there. This place is completely free, and there's nobody here. There's signs everywhere, like, saying what, what, what all these is. places were. Yeah. The reviews on Google for Port Arthur were saying that you get lumped into a group of 50 or more people, so yeah. it really didn't appeal to us. You need to come to Tasmania because, well, for stars, it's not that expensive to get over here especially if you travel around in a van we lived in uh, hobart for a month over the busiest time of the year for free just nobody cares so much history and it's so pretty you would have loved to see this place in its heyday yeah i mean not with all the brutality but yeah like if it was just like a palace or something yeah somewhere where you have like a pool a spa like gatsby's house yeah that'd be really cool I love this kind of architecture as well. I don't understand how they made that. I've never read anything about it. That's probably why I don't understand it. What's this bakey? It's, this is the bakehouse and the barracks uh, from 1838. There was a chimney there. Maybe that's where they baked the bread. Chimney over there as well. This looks like it could be an oven as well. Places like this actually make me wonder how many civilizations existed before us. Like this is all stone and it's only 200 years old. So I imagine maybe another thousand years from now it will just be a rubble and maybe 10,000 years from then it will be nothing. And scientists say that Earth is like millions of years old. So I don't know, it kind of boggles my mind to think that we are the most advanced civilization that has existed because... I don't know, you just don't know. Why is my belt undone? <laughs> yeah, I'd love a time machine. Yeah. 
Like, it's only been 200 years and it's already decaying. Yeah. And like, this place is in ancient Greece, which are obviously, what, like we looked up the other day, it was like tens of thousands of years old. But that's like nothing in the spectrum of all of existence. Where we're heading now were more isolation cells. It looks like it's wheelchair accessible, so you can bring your grandma a nice day trip. Oh my god, I can't see anything. Like, it's just black. Could you imagine being put in here? Like, yeah. just forced in here for, for breaking the rules? Yeah, be in complete darkness. Yeah. And maybe they had like a lantern or something in there. Mm. Super creepy looking. <laughs> I've never been in a solitary confinement cell in my life. I'm gonna go in there and see what that's like. Ah! So many mozzies. Ah! Ah! <laughs> There's so many of them in there. Heebie jeebies. Yeah. Hardcore. Oh, they all kind of have this different vibe to them, like walking through a graveyard. This is a really good free attraction. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and we're the only ones here. If you do come here, do it in a camper van, because when you're traveling in a van, uh, even if you're just renting it, you don't have to leave where you are to go and have lunch or to move on to the next thing. You can just bring your lunch with you, you've got your cooker with you, and you can just hang out for the day. You don't have to rush anywhere. You don't have to go to the next destination all in one day. You can just take your time and it's really a beautiful way to see the country. So we definitely recommend coming here to this coal mines historic site. If you're not into tourist traps, then this is probably a much better place to come than Port Arthur. I'm not trying to talk flack about Port Arthur, but this one is free and it's a lot more peaceful, I think. I'd much rather come here than walk around with 50 other people. And yeah.